Welcome back, everybody. So Kohl's is not necessarily your first choice for your Halloween shopping, but they do consistently have some interesting decor. So let's see what they have this year. But before we go in, I did want to say a special thank you to all the patrons who help support the channel. If you are interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out the link to my Patreon page in the description below. But let's head on in, and the first thing we're going to see is a display right by the checkout that has some pillows. So that one isn't overtly Halloween, but it had that little tassel with a ghost on it that made it pretty cute. There's some ghost pillows as well, your typical Happy Halloween. And I love this Nightmare Before Christmas pillow with some interesting imagery of Jack and Sally. Overall, I think Disney might be licensing a bit of decor here. Um, we just saw a bunch of characters there. We're going to see a bunch more as we go. Um, look, even Day of the Dead merchandise. But I think most of it is kind of this rustic decor, like this pumpkin made out of wood slats. And look, it lights up. It actually has a nice little detail with those lights. We've got a cowboy skeleton and even just a regular skeleton. Got some wreaths. We're going to see a little bit more of those later. Uh, a lot of wall hangings. This is simple merchandise. A lot of it just generic decor. This over here is kind of interesting. It looks almost kind of like a dream catcher. All right, so cute, it's scary. It kind of feels like that's the theme that they're going for with the merchandise here. There we have some more Disney with some Mickey Mouse imagery on it. And look here, we have Mickey again. This one's a little bit more subtle and an interestingly shaped pot with some ears. And then you have your overtly Mickey Mouse pumpkin as well. Got some black cats on this mug. I like the way it says Happy Halloween on the inside. And of course we have a car. It's got some mummy and what was that, like a rat on one side. And we've got a couple of dogs on the other. And some more, oh, look, that skeleton cowboy. We saw that in the wall hanging on the previous shelf. So I'm happy that they have some coordinating merchandise, but I think they could have gone a little bit more. If they're going to go in, they ought to go all in. So we got some candy here. At first, I thought that might have been a giant Reese's Peanut Butter Cup pumpkin. Wouldn't that have been awesome? But no, I think that was just a display box, which it looks like wasn't even opened. But I did see some over by the checkout counters. So I don't know if they're going to be getting more stuff in or if that might just be it. Anyway, we've got some pillows here. I like that this is a coordinating three set of pillows with some different imagery kind of jumping all over the place. A lot of this stuff was just jumbled up by the front of the store. So here you've got some uh, pet costumes mixed in with this big standing pumpkin decor. I like how that has skulls and ghosts and whatnot. Oh look, more giddy up pumpkins. So there's our skeleton again. More pet costumes, various designs. Can't help but notice there's some Pixar there. Of course, that's owned by Disney as well. All right, we've got a Jack Skellington uh, blanket. I'm not sure what the doll portion of that is. There was a clearance aisle over here, and look, there was a chandelier decoration hiding in the clearance section. I wasn't sure it was really Halloween until I saw that bat on it. Only $2.24. Must be a holdover from last year. We have some dish towels and lots of different designs here. I think here at a moment we're going to see a Mickey Mouse, of course. A little surprised there's some skeletons, but I don't think they're... Are they cowboy skeletons? I couldn't quite see. They do have some bath mats here. Got a couple of skeletons again, and a pumpkin. That artwork, though, it kind of seems very juvenile and, and simplistic. I almost wish they had better graphic designers that could give us a little bit higher quality merchandise design. But they also have some doormats as well. Hey, pumpkin, welcome to our patch. All the kind of standard fare. Boo, y'all. At least it doesn't say I'm here for the booze. I think we all know how I feel about that one. And hello, fall. Over in the kids section, we've got some of these squishy things. Not really sure what these are anymore, but they're very popular. And then we have some kids clothing as well. I love the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern face with the glass, the sunglasses. I wish they had a mittens shirt with that design, but they've got kids shirts and all sorts of designs. Not really sure why this one was hiding there in the Halloween section. Love that little ghost on the bike, too. I would totally wear a shirt that looked like that. And then, of course, the Boo Crew. Got some coordinating outfits over here, it looks like. 
which have my first Halloween bib. You got to get these kids started right. And there is a shirt for mom with a nice little boo. That's the only one I saw for the females. I didn't see any in the men's section. It's a little disappointed by that, Coles. Anyway, we've got some Yankee candles here and all the different fall scents. And I do believe we've reached the extent of our overtly Halloween merchandise, but they did have a lot of fall. And since there wasn't so much Halloween, I thought we'd just fill in with some of these things. Of course, I do like those pumpkins, things like that you can display year round. Of course, you've got some wreaths. We can plop those up on the door right until it's time to put something real scary up. But when is that going to be? I know some people have been telling me they're starting their decorating now, at least on the inside. I'm waiting another week or two just to start my inside decorating, and I probably won't do the outside, of course, until October. But leave me a comment below and let me know what your decorating schedule is and how close we are to it. So that's it for today. Till next time, take care and happy haunting.